Hi guys and welcome back to Ask NK. Today we have an update that has to do with a workflow that would uh, integrate you working with Substance Materials and Autodesk Revit. What the update is, is uh, Revit 2019 seems to be ready for PBR which simply means that you can now get your Substance Materials and export them and use them inside Revit. And this was actually made known to the community by two people. One of them is uh, someone that has been working with rendering technology for a while. His name is Henrik Edstrom and someone who has also been working with Autodesk for about 20 years now. And his name is Roberto Zich. And these two guys seems to have come together and, you know, try to leverage the idea of using PBR materials inside Revit, especially now Revit 2019 now supports PBR materials and there is a demo that is out there for everyone to see from what we're getting these guys are looking forward to create some sort of integration between uh, Substance and Revit. Not too long ago we heard that Adobe has just acquired Substance and we all have those uh, skepticism with uh, what is going to be and what is at this point in terms of subscription, product development, and all that stuff. Honestly speaking, everyone knows how Autodesk is with their product line. And this is beginning to make me question the fact if this pulls through and let's say if there is more of a plugin or a bridge between Autodesk and Substance, will this create a market for the both of them? Will this actually make let's say Autodesk get a very good eye to purchasing Substance up or maybe they're going to go ahead and maybe purchase a certain part of Substance just in case this becomes uh, something that they would use later in time. For now, there is just a lot of tools that you can go ahead and play with just in case you don't have Substance subscription or you don't understand how the Substance source or maybe the Substance player or all this Substance stuff how they work, you can go ahead and do your entire uh, rendering stuff using apps like Twinmotion, Lumion, Enscape, and so on and so forth. And speaking of Twinmotion, we have a complete course in the channel that you can go ahead and check out. So just in case you're new to rendering or maybe you're new to doing your architectural visualization, we have a complete course that you can go through, learn how to create those amazing visuals of yours and then you know take it out for presentation and all that we have a step-by-step -step course which you would actually find amazing and i would like to know what you guys think about this is this a future for substance or is it a future for adobe or maybe a future for autodesk i would like to know what your thoughts are in the comment section below and if you like this video simply give it a like and don't forget to share with your friends and if you're new here it would be amazing if you can hit that subscribe button for more updates review tutorial tips and tricks things like this Peace.